If you are considering plastic surgery and you've watched my videos on tips for achieving the most aesthetic procedure with the most competent surgeon possible, here is some more information for you on the historical development of plastic surgery. Hi, I'm Jennifer McCumber author of Freedom 5, feature columnist for ED Publications Magazine, and I'm leading the movement for exotic dancer development all over the world. Now plastic surgery originated with the Egyptians with beginning documentation around 3000 BC. Most of their work apparently centered on facial reconstruction with an emphasis on correcting jaw and nose disfigurement. Now later, around 600 BC, we have documentation indicating progress in these procedures out in India. More recently, the disfiguring injuries sustained by soldiers in World War II drove accelerated developments in reconstructive surgery in the Western world. Advances in plastic surgery as cosmetic treatment as well as reconstructive and corrective surgery has increased exponentially ever since then. Now indeed, plastic surgery is considered the most progressive form of contemporary surgery. Of particular interest to you would likely be the 1962 creation and design of the first silicone breast implant by plastic surgeons Cronin and Giroux, which has since become an advanced and commonplace procedure with a greater degree of aesthetic success and safety than ever before. Rhinoplasty, facelifts and other facial procedures have progressed at least as much within this time frame. Most recently, French surgeons have even successfully transplanted an entire face using advanced microsurgical techniques. With few exceptions, you may now improve almost any physical imperfection you need to normalize. To sum up this short history lesson, plastic surgery originally developed to reconstruct damaged body parts. Today, women who have had mastectomies are socially relieved by the availability of breast implants. Cancer patients who have lost their ears and noses to the disease can also resolve this socially crippling condition. Reconstructive surgery attempts to to restore patients that have been disfigured. Disfigurements can be caused by birth defects or disease or injury. Cosmetic surgery, on the other hand, attempts to achieve super normalcy, like having the crook in your nose filed down to soften your look. My grandfather and I believe that plastic surgery is an art. There are so many terrible surgeons out there. My grandfather has repaired a good amount of bad work. Any surgeon who is willing to distort and stretch the skin to a point of no return in order to create oversized breasts in your body does not care about your well-being nor the inherent side effects that having such large breasts could wreak on your back, on your chest muscles, shoulders, skin, and nipples. Why would you want to do that to yourself anyway? No doubt beauty is pain, and these invasive procedures are rather painful. It does pay you in the long run as a professional dancer to have your boobs done if they need extra size, but please don't ruin perfectly great boobs if you already have them, just to be a little bigger. Your feedback is very important to us. Please comment on the blog below with any questions or concerns that you have. Strippers from around the world are bound to chime in on the discussion. You can even find more videos, education, and training on our following social media sites. YouTube at Freedom 5 Online, Facebook at Freedom 5 for Exotic Dancers, and Twitter at Freedom 5 Strip. This is Jennifer McCumber here, and I wish you the very best of success.